Hey everyone, so for this block day, you have a discussion on deflate gate. Um, so there's a link right here on this slide, but also I posted this video on the discussion. So hopefully, honestly, if you're watching this video, I'm hoping you've already watched that five minute video about the scandal. Um, but here's kind of a recap or some important details that maybe weren't covered in the video. One, the NFL says that the football used by each team has to be between um, 12.5 and 13.5 PSI, which we know is pounds per square inch. Um, in this playoff game, 11 of the 12 footballs used by the Patriots were two PSI below the minimum pressure requirement. So let's just use the benefit of the doubt here. Let's say that Tom Brady's football started at 12.5 PSI when it was in the locker room, the very minimum. Well, we know that almost all of the Patriots footballs were at least two PSI below the minimum pressure, that means they had to be at least 10, or I would say 10.5 or lower, right? So let's give, again, give them the benefit of the doubt. They started at the lowest um, allowed pressure and they dropped by two. So I want you to use gas laws to prove if Tom Brady were, is to prove if Tom Brady's guilty or innocent. And I'm guessing a lot of you have your own opinions about this, but I'm really looking for the evidence with the gas laws. So if you have your own insight of to what went down, that's fine. Feel free to add that. Um, but the main requirement here is that you, you are using gas laws. Pretend you are the lawyer for Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. How would you defend that maybe they're innocent or maybe you're on the prosecution and you want to prove that they are guilty? Um, it might be helpful. I don't know. Um, I'm guessing a lot of you are football fans out there, um, but this was a playoff football game. And just so you're aware, a playoff game usually happens in January, in the winter time. So at game time, it was uh, six, uh, 640 start time of the game. So it's a night game, which usually means could be colder. Um, the locker room temperature when the balls were first tested by the referees was 11.1 .1 degrees Celsius and on the field it was 8.3 degrees Celsius. So that might be some helpful information. Don't forget, got to go from Celsius to Kelvin before we do anything with gas laws. So um, I, I know right now yours looks a little different because it says videos will be added. I'm making this, obviously I'm making the video now. So you should ha you should see two videos here, the one about the deflate gate scandal and then obviously the link for the video you're watching right now. But here's what you need. In your discussion post, you're gonna write one to two sentence explaining if Tom Brady's guilty or innocent, right? What's your opening statement, so to speak, or even your closing statement to a jury? Um, but you need a calculation then to back it up. So you can either do this on paper or you can type it in. Um, and then if you do it on paper, you'll upload a photo. And then I want pictures of before and after particle pictures that support your verdict. So if you think he is, um, innocent, you're going to show me what actually what happened to the footballs based off gas laws um, before, meaning the locker room, after, meaning on the field. Um, if you think he's guilty, you're going to show what happened to the particles to make the pressure go down um, based off your before and after pictures. And you need to comment on two other classmates posts asking questions or debating any ideas they bring up. If you disagree or you think they did something wrong, don't be shy. Be polite about it, but let's, let's have a genuine conversation. One thing I want to show you real quick is if you hit reply try that again if you hit reply this is where you guys have been typing in your answers So I'm saying he's guilty and innocent because I don't want to give anything away. Um, but I notice a lot of you have been attaching your pictures, which I'm going to be honest is really annoying. Like, let's be real. If you're commenting on a classmate's post, you're not actually clicking on the links and looking at their pictures. Um, we're just lazy humans. We don't want to do that. So let me show you how to embed a picture. If you hit this little um, icon right here, it looks like a mountain and a sun or something, a moon maybe. I don't know. Click that guy. It brings you up to a place where you can um, insert images. So if you click, see these tabs? If you click the one that says Canvas, and then you click on My Files, you can upload a file from your desktop. So, sorry, it's... So I would upload a file on my, comp my iPad right now. Um, it's 
t saying from my my photo so if you're doing this on your cell phone um, you can do it that way or you can take a photo um, usually on my computer I'm uploading it from like my desktop or wherever I saved the picture to and then what happens is it will put the f the f picture in this list and then you will go down so let me just find one that I've already uploaded actually I'll do upload file take photo use photo okay hopefully you're still with me I don't know if you saw my screen I'm guessing not but so I took a picture there's the image and I'm gonna go to update and there's the picture I took of Phoebe post my reply and it's nicely in the actual post so then people don't have to open links so give that a try if you have any issues um, let me know and I can help you out but I'd love to see your your particle drawings and then if you do your calculations on paper the picture of your calculations embedded into your post all right um, good luck with this let's figure out um, if he is guilty or innocent